Hey friends, this is Atif Hope here. Well, and welcome to the new update on EOS Coin. As in my earlier video, I was showing you that after breaking out a huge down channel, EOS formed another falling wedge pattern on a weekly time frame chart. And in today's video, we will once again take a look at this move. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe button for more trading signals. You can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. And if you would like to see how my trading signals work, then I've also shared the link for the current month trading signals report in the video's description for the month of July 2023. You just need to open that report. And for example, if you would like to check or verify any trading signal like this, the trade setup for UMA token, you just need to click on the link for that trade setup and it will take you to the trading view. And there is a play button available on every trading views chart. You just need to click that play button like I'm doing here. And it will show you how the price line moved up from the buying zone and rallied to the sell target zone. Now, let me to take you to the live chart of EOS coin. And this is the weekly time frame chart. And here we can see that since after March 2021, the price line was moving inside this very long term down channel. And you can see we got several ejections by the resistance and several bounces uh, from the support as well. By the way, we have few touch points at the support, like we have one two three and four touch points here and one touch point almost five touch points we have at the support of the channel and we have several touch points at the resistance of this channel that was a quite clear signal that the price and can eventually break out the resistance of this down channel and in fact this down channel is also considered as a bullish bias and you can see that finally we broke out the resistance and from here you can see it also found another a downtrend line support and another downtrend line resistance as well. And due to this downtrend line resistance, the price line could not continue its move to the upside even after breaking out this down channel. And this is the formation of another falling wedge pattern. And you can see that this time the price line will need to break out this red line as well. That is also a long term resistance. That is the EMA 21 on the weekly time frame chart, slightly below than the resistance of this falling wedge pattern. And after breaking out this EMA 21, the price line will need to break out the resistance of the wedge and before that we also have this long-term resistance at 80 cents that was previously breaking as a support here and support here and support here and now for the past several weeks you can see it is uh, working as a strong resistance for the price line once EOS will be able to break out this falling wedge pattern then the final target for this falling wedge pattern will be here at the top of the wedge that will be approximately at three dollar and seventy cents and the final target for this huge breakout from this big down channel is here at the top of the channel that can be between $13 to $15. So this was the update so far. I hope that you've liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.